Hey, produce people. So we're here in Tampa, Florida. We're at the podcast studio. We are getting ready to head out to Alturas, Florida, where we are going to go visit a screen room full of citrus, everyone. So you might be thinking, why is it in the screen room? How is it in the screen room? And what do they do? Citrus under protective screening, everyone. And it's to keep out that citrus greening bug or HLB that we've been fighting across America. So come join me today. We're going to meet Quentin Rowe in the field from Noble Citrus, see some of the Product that they have grown here by Mixon Family Farms, and check out one of my favorite fruits, citrus. So let's go. I'm here in Alturas, Florida, and actually I'm in a screen house, as you can see, uh, for fresh citrus. So I'm here with Noble Citrus. That's right, Quinton Row. Well, you know it's Florida Citrus. It's got to be Noble Citrus. So Quinton is somewhere here in the screen house, and uh, I'm going to start looking for him. We're going to take a quick tour, see the varieties in here, and see and hear why this place was built. So let's go find Quinton. Q. Patrick, hey, I'm over here. I gotta find. Hey, hey, brother, how you we're, doing? This is amazing. So just uh, think we're in a screen. We we are in a giant screen house. Well, literally, I thought it was a greenhouse. It's it's not. It's no, a, it's actually a screen house. So. Kind of, uh, again, another thing by, by Q, like where am I, what am I doing? We're in Alturas, Florida, and uh, this is some of your citrus that you pack. Um, this is Mixon Family Farms. Mixon Family Farms. And I, I think it's amazing. The story's amazing. We're going to hear a little bit more about that story. This, this process, this whole greenhouse process, has an acronym called CUPS. C-U-P-S, C -U -P -S. Citrus Under Protective Screens. Because of why? Because of the disease greening. And greening is spread mm. by a little bitty insect called the psyllid. The screen mesh is so tiny that the psyllid cannot go through it. it Therefore, can't. you cannot, it cannot get to these citrus trees. I know it'd like to, but it can't. So this is absolutely the perfect climate for growing perfect citrus in a greening world. I got uh, it. So, we hope there's a cure coming down the road somewhere, but until that happens, this is really cool. This screen room is protecting the crop from this little bug that loves citrus. What varieties are we going to see in here? These early pride, sugar bell, and a little bit of experimental grapefruit, which I think you'll find very cool to look at. And this early pride, it's the first tangerine of the season, and inside this greenhouse, this stuff is amazing. It, it literally Really grows blemish free. It grows large. Look at that against my hand. I mean, these are like 80s and 64s. It doesn't look like your traditional Florida no, it's, tangerine. It's, a little bit bigger. It grows perfect. And uh, it's not scarred up. It no, doesn't have as much damage delicious. on it. It's absolutely delicious. So, the other thing I love about these trees is they load up uniformly. Um, when you come through, the, the crop is so easy to spot pick. Because I was going to say, there's so much fruit on the trees yes. already. I mean, I think you said some of these rows you already spot picked. We already spot picked out of here once. We got like 30, 35% of this crop off the tree and the trees don't even look like they've been touched. Let's peel some of these open and let's see how they look. Here, let me have that one. I'll get that one started for us. Right. So here we go. This is the one Patrick just picked off the tree. Uh, beautiful, beautiful color on it already. Come on, Quentin, you ever started a tangerine before? Once you get it started, it's gonna peel pretty dang easy. I say that, and look at this one being a little bit chippy. That's always the case, though. You know, once we uh, take them to the packing house and they go through a little bit of coloring, what happens is the peel dehydrates just a little bit, and that dehydrated peel actually causes the fruit to peel easier because the fruit is, has a little more of that leathery texture to it. So that's kind of the, the mission here is we get it in the packing house, we do a little bit of dehydration, and this peel would just come right off of this piece of fruit. Okay, we're getting close enough here to where we're just gonna break into this thing. Wow, look at that. Got a little bit on the back side of that one. It's coming on down. All right, Patrick, acid test. You ready? I'm getting the first one. <coughs> So 
so much juice I took some down the wrong channel. <laughs> you ready? All right, I'm ready. Ah, All right, here we go. Here it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most. No, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> That's the most juicy. It's just so juicy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Something about juicy? <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, where did Patrick go? We went to set up in this grapefruit area and I lost him. I'm over here, Quentin. Let's find Quentin, everyone, because he is, uh, he's definitely around here somewhere, and uh, there's plenty of citrus to go around for everyone. I can get, I can get through here, I'm telling well, you. Follow my voice, we're over here. I gotta find some good grapefruit for us to pick, but before that, I gotta get to you first, huh? Well, you're not gonna have any problem finding good grapefruit in here. This is an amazing crop. Look at the blush. Well, it looks on like this. I uh, looks like I found us. Look at the blush on this. Whoa! I mean, that's just. I mean, and they're not even ready yet. We, we still got time to go. Food. So, what's really cool about being in this uh, greenhouse, this cups project with grapefruit, is of all the citrus varieties, of all the citrus varieties that can grow in here, grapefruit like the tropical climate that this creates better than all the rest. And you've seen what happens in the early pride. The early pride love. It, you're going to see what happens with sugar bell. The sugar bell love it. Grapefruit love it that much more. Wow. Okay. So you can see this huge crop of fruit, and it's all perfect. It's all absolutely just perfect. So it's loaded. I mean, this tree is loaded. I mean, all look at the blush here. I mean, all of the branches are just hanging down because there's so much fruit loaded onto them. So is uh, and you guys pack these as well? Uh, currently, we don't pack these. This in a little experimental block in here. Oh. Uh, so. He's only got uh, like three or four rows oh. of these, but he did this to find out how the grapefruit would react in a cups project, and he loves it. He's going to plant a whole bunch more. Uh, so this is uh, this is coming in the future. So we've had the early prides. Right now we've got the grapefruit. Right. Where are we off to next? We're going to go see Sugar Bells, and you're going to be amazed. Okay. Just absolutely. Should amazing. I lead the way? Because I'll figure I'm probably going to get lost anyways. You're going to get lost, and I'll have to find you again. All right, so we are standing Ooh. in a jungle here. Are you enjoying this? I feel like we're in a jungle, everyone. I'm uh, I'm sweating at this point, and it's because of the screen room, though. Yeah. It's to make this, I say, this uh, area tropical. Yes. Not subtropical, but fully tropical. And I'm totally feeling like I am in tropical weather. You you are in tropical weather. So here's what's cool. Ooh. This variety is called Sugar Bell. It was developed by the University of Florida. It's a cross between a clementine and a mineola. So it's kind of a smaller version of a mineola. It's got that little mineola nipple to it. Okay. Um, and so it's kind of a cool piece of fruit. Um, when it gets red, it's just a delightful piece of fruit. High bricks, very good piece of fruit. So what's interesting is this is the most precocious, fastest growing tree in our Florida citrus repertoire, okay? And you can tell that here because this middle was actually hedged. <laughs> this middle was actually hedged. Are you sure? Hedged, um, probably in uh, uh, March, March of last year. Okay, so it's six months ago, this was hedged. It has regrown all of this foliage in six months. Wow. It's just crazy. It's amazing. Let's take a look at some of the fruit okay. down here. The other thing that's interesting about this sugar bell variety is how it loads up in the trees. Uh, it will tend to break these trees down. He's hedged them to try to restrict the amount of growing area that the tree actually has. And even so, look at this incredible load of fruit all the way through the tree. All this fruit will turn a deep, deep red when it's ready, and it'll be delicious, easy to peel. Mm, you're, you're gonna love it. These are amazing. They grow off so dang fast. Look at this. I mean, I'm 6'3", and these trees are already five feet tall. Uh, so they're gonna be producing fruit at a year, year and a half old. That's just phenomenal. We just walked Mixon Family Farms over 40 acres of citrus here in Florida that we got to see. And I'm glad that I got to meet Keith, the grower, and walk around with uh, Quentin at Noble Citrus. So hope you loved the video. Please subscribe, like the channel, and keep following for more.
Thank you for visiting the Produce Industry Show. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and follow. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at The Produce Industry Podcast. We'll see you in the fields and on the horizon.